mechanisms we love mechanisms all right so show the mechanism of the products formed from the reaction of diethyl ether with hbr so diethyl ether is this okay and then with hbr so i know two things by looking at uh, what i have right now is first of all that i have an acidic mechanism okay going on over here because of hbr hydrobromic acid so that's one thing the other thing i need to know is of course that i'm going to form alkyl halides as my products okay and then the last thing that I need to know is, of course, there will be some SN2 mechanism going on over here. Okay, and so just by looking at the starting materials, you should have all of these uh, thoughts coming to your mind as to how you're going to start approaching anything. So as soon as you know that you have an acidic mechanism, you're like, okay, so here is my acid HBr. Where is my base? And my base is right here with the oxygen. So oxygen will get protonated, okay, with the um, proton of the HBr. So here we have protonation going on and so now the next step is going to be where the br minus comes in because once you had the hbr here technically speaking this bond broke off right so now you have the bromide ion okay in the solution somewhere and that bromide ion is now going to be doing the sn2 reaction which is a substitution because now we also have the oxonium ion which is a great leaving group okay so we're going to fragment the ether so how are we going to fragment this so let me clean this up a little bit here and now let's go on to the bromide attacking this carbon and then the fragmentation happens right here with the bond opening can you attack this carbon yes you can also but it depends which one you do first it honestly doesn't matter okay you can do either one of those so <clears throat> then your product is going to be of course the alkyl halide okay that you formed and on the left hand side on this side you're left with ethanol okay so oh you can't stop over here because usually when you're treating any kind of an ether with any acid like hbr hcl it actually is in excess okay and what is in excess is of course the um, hbr or the acid so if you have excess of acid left the alcohol is not just going to hang around with the acid okay just like that it's going to go ahead and keep reacting which means that i have to keep on doing another protonation okay until no more reaction can take place all right so we continue with that we don't stop halfway and so we repeat the process by taking the alcohol and then doing the um, protonation with HBr and now we have this protonated alcohol now remember in these cases you really cannot just fragment the um, the ether or the alcohol which means what I'm trying to say is this is not possible okay is that you cannot have water as a leaving group okay because what you form at the end, okay, is going to be um, something like this, okay, and I don't want to write it like that. So you will have an ethyl carbocation, which is really not possible, okay, to form. So don't even go there. Don't form carbocations in this one. There are no carbocations. If there were any carbocations, I would have written them up here for you, okay, that this is a carbocation mechanism, but it is not, okay? So don't form any carbocations. So now once we have the... Um, oxonium ion formed here now the h2o it's a good leaving group so now comes in the second bromide ion that you cleaved over here okay in the previous reaction and again now you will do another sn2 reaction so minus h2o water goes away now and now you will have ethyl bromide formed again so that's what happens in this and so the mechanism shows you that there is no carbocation there is an sn2 reaction going on and that you end up getting two products which happen to be the same that's a different thing but you actually get two fragments okay in here now let me just do one more thing really quick here for you okay so if you had something that was asymmetrical so something like this like an ethyl propyl ether and then you were treating this with hbr so in this case you will fragment on both sides and now you will actually get two different products okay because on the left side you will get the propyl um, halide and on the right side that will give you the ethyl bromide all right so the mechanism would still be the same and maybe you should practice that out